Damn, girl, are you a virgin? Uh, no, I'm not. Did you want to change that? What? Yeah, what are they meant to do about it? What do you mean you're going to change that? Wow, that's like the epitome of this subreddit. That's not how girls work. Yeah, like the top comment says, Lol, I guess he expected the answer to be yes and automatically went with his offer. Yeah, either they just didn't think about that or that's genuinely what they meant. Like they just assumed that they said yes. Wow, would you look at that? We're starting a Not How Girls Work video very confused. It's not like that happens every single time on this subreddit. Welcome back guys, hope you're having a beautiful day today and I hope you're ready for some more Not How Girls Work. That was so weird to say when I'm looking at a camera. Like that must be so weird for you guys right now. But yeah, here I am. <laughs> I felt like doing a face cam video today and by the way, I'm not good at looking at the camera. I never look at the camera. Like this camera isn't even normally here so it's super weird to look at it. But yeah, I'm sure I'll get used to it. This is going to be a whole bunch of fun. And yeah, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. This must be so trippy for some of you guys. Okay, let's get into the video. Enjoy, guys. Jennifer, this is why I'm not having kids. I fear this. It looks horrible. No, thank you. All the mamas who do this, you're a blessing. And with these emojis... But this is not for me. Jennifer, as long as you're a woman, you'll experience it, my dear. It's a part of life. What, having kids? They think that just because you're a woman, you have to have children? Oh yeah, Jennifer, my dear, you'll experience it at some point. What, just because you're a woman? What if they don't have kids? Are they still gonna end up with kids? I'm so glad that you guys get to see the disgust on my face. Why do women train for ripped abs? It's because they want to look like men. Truthfully, it's gross. Lips, boobs, and hips. Men are simple. We want the classic beauty of a feminine hourglass shape. At no time in history did men ever want women with ribs abs. Yeah, but maybe that's not what it's about. Dude, people don't just get ripped abs because men want them to. What are you talking about? How dare women have a six pack? It's not what I'm attracted to, so they shouldn't do it. That is so weird and the audacity to think that it has anything to do with your opinion. Bro, come on. Women born after 10,000 BC can't hunt. All they know is a food surplus, plant the a crop, plow, skill specialization, eat hot bread, and a lie. Wow, that's the funniest version of that meme that I've ever seen. Oh my god, women born after 10,000 BC, all they do is eat hot bread and a lie. <laughs> and a plant they crop. God, women born after 10,000 BC, am I right? <laughs> They're absolutely spitting facts right here. Elon showed me his ding dong. And you're mad about that? I will never understand women. Wow, dude, what? So you wouldn't care if you saw Elon Musk's ding dong? So you think that every woman ever should be okay with seeing it? I'm sorry, but that doesn't make any sense. You got to see our lord and saviour Elon Musk's ding dong? People that worship Elon Musk are so confusing. I'm so grateful I wasn't born a man. This is going to be a bit of a rant, but there's just no other place to share my thoughts. First of all, I'm very grateful for the existence of this particular subreddit. In a society that is brainwashed by feminism and female dominance, this place is like a breath of fresh air. A place full of people with fully functioning brain activity who see the truth behind this nonsense ideology called feminism. Wow, okay, um, you read the title, I'm really happy. 
I used to be miserable. I thought I was oppressed or underestimated. It was stupid. At the time, I fell into the feminist trap, thinking that it was so easy and simple to be a man. I was wrong. I don't know what exactly made me change my mind. I guess I just made a successful introspection. I'm so grateful for all my privileges. Privileges that men will never experience. Wow, this is the most a fake thing ever, surely. There are no expectations or pressure for me. I could just become a housewife. I don't need to have a house, a car, money to attract a partner. I don't have to remain stoic or unemotional whenever I'm facing an issue. There's always someone to listen and sympathize. Someone to lift me up when I fail. It's a very easy to get intercourse. <laughs> what? It's a very easy to get intercourse. I could just make a Tinder account and get a hundred desperate guys message me. I'm always taken very seriously. I've never experienced any discrimination or oppression, as a feminist like to call it. It's all just an exaggeration. All the things that women say, it's a far from the truth. I've never been so sure of something before. Feminism makes no rational sense. Women aren't equal to men and they are above them. We can do whatever we want and not be held responsible because men allowed women to do whatever they want, exploit their privileges and mock the male figure. It's about time that we as women are held responsible for our actions and start respecting the male authority. Without men, this society would have collapsed a long time ago since there would have been no one to do the hard, dangerous or nasty jobs. Yeah, this is a little bit scary, isn't it? Men, respect yourself. Don't let women harass or oppress you for being a man. We aren't oppressed, we're spoiled. Oh yeah, this is definitely written by a woman, isn't it? Not just some guy somewhere. I'll probably make a few more posts like this to rant my thoughts that I can't share with other people without being called sexist or nonsensical or oppressive of women's rights. Since Sincerely, an owner of a VJJ who hates feminism. Wow. That was something that we just read. And I'm glad that you guys joined me to read that. There's no way that's a woman. <laughs> Surely. Like the bit where they said it's so easy to get intercourse. I thought they were almost going to say coitus. Like, oh no, no, it's so easy to get intercourse as a femoid. Yeah, there's no way that just isn't some random guy writing that. We had to go over sexist ads for an English assignment a while back. And this is one of the fun ones that I found. Okay, so it's a big ad. Like the people that make lighters and pens and stuff. Look like a girl. Act like a lady. Think like a man. And work like a boss. Hashtag happy women's day. Oh yeah, happy women's day. Make sure you think like a man today. <laughs> like surely they didn't actually do that. How did somebody make this and be like, oh yeah, that's totally okay. We didn't make a mistake here. It's totally fine. Surely somebody could have been like, yeah, you know what? This probably isn't a very good idea. Everything we read in videos is basically unbelievable. Doesn't even make any sense. Men, do not take relationship advice from women. You'll burn your fingers. Yeah, we wouldn't want that, would we? Whether she's a professional marriage counsellor or an experienced wife, a gazelle does not teach a lion how, when, and why, and where to hunt. Masculinity Saturday. Yeah, I was wondering how long it'd take before we read one of these. I don't think we've had a Masculinity Saturday post in like two Not How Girls Work videos. And that's kind of a well record for these videos. Do not take relationship advice from women. What you really shouldn't do is take relationship advice from alpha male Twitter pages. Women live life on easy mode and they still lose shaking my head. Bro, what? <laughs> I can't believe these people. Like, how does somebody tweet that and 
you know, feel okay about it. And also, I don't understand. Why would you think that women have life on easy mode? It doesn't even make any sense. Like, oh yeah, it's so easy for a woman having to deal with everything that everybody else does and more. <laughs> We're laughing about it, but it's genuinely frustrating. Um, I don't know if I can actually say the word, but the solo diddly. Men, all they have is their fist, but women have one finger, two fingers, whatever this is. The same finger again, but they turn their hand around, I suppose. This, this, like they're in Star Trek. And like this, so they're saying hello to themselves, and then the middle finger, and then somehow they're gonna do something with this. <laughs> I can't imagine that feels any good. And then they got their fist, I definitely can't imagine that feels very good. And then their foot, this just keeps getting worse. An eggplant, a hot dog, <laughs> that would be gross. Sorry, this post is really gross. A hammer, that sounds cold. <laughs> a flashlight, a microphone, um, no. A carrot, a spanner, a banana, a corn cob, a bottle of wine, but the emoji is like the cork coming out. <laughs> That's terrifying. Some slices of cucumber and a Snickers bar. Oh, okay, so it was on the terrible Facebook meme subreddit. That makes sense. But yeah, I don't think many people are doing the solo diddly with a hot dog or a hammer or even still a bottle of wine that is opening. <laughs> Oh, women after using a $200 skincare system. Men after washing their face with the same bar of soap that they use to wash their ass. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that is so mean. And it so isn't true either. <laughs> like what? Ladies wanted for saloon work. Master sing, dance, cook and clean, shoot straight, sit on laps and not be afraid of varmints, large or small. Enjoy being punched. <laughs> what? Prodded, insulted, admired and generally lusted after. Yeah, no thanks, dude. <laughs> I can't believe that sign actually says, enjoy being punched. The top comment says, took a very dramatic turn at enjoy being punched. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna want this. Like, that's worse than a job application on the Choosing Beggars subreddit. When she says that she doesn't want to do something, don't sit there and illogically argue. Instead, pick her up, swing her around and tickle her. What? Change her mood, not her mind. Why? Because women make decisions based on their present emotions. Wow. And you're acting like men don't do that? <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. It's so frustrating how they think about women as like a different species. You know, like, oh, this is how you interact with the female. Bro, relax Okay, I'd suck the eggs out of your, you know what's like boba tea. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> That's some bad women's anatomy. Also, revolting. <laughs> You're not getting anybody in the mood by saying I'd suck the eggs out of your you know what's like a boba tea. Okay, so we're back on alpha male Twitter. Your eyes meet. She breaks eye contact and looks down submissively. But you keep looking at her and she looks at you again. You pass a smile and she smiles back. You go approach and her eyes light up like a little girl on Christmas morning. Morning. Learn game. <laughs> like a shy deer getting approached by the strong gaze by the eyes of a wolf. <laughs> she will be already a little bit, you know what, when you arrive in front of her. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. That's all I have to say about that. And the fact that people read this and they're like, oh yeah, that's great advice. That's terrifying. So a Gibson guitar, it's a literally just a wood and
and metal. Oh my god, shiny rock. Wow, okay. And by the way, guys, I do this, <laughs> like, even when the camera's not going. But yeah, I don't even know what this is meant to mean. Women like crystals and they don't like guitars? Okay. I've never heard of a woman disliking a guitar, but anyway. 80% of women use silence to express pain. You know that she's truly hurt when she ignores you. Yeah, it just reminds me of that Simpsons episode, Home of the Vigilante. Oh, people can come up with statistics to prove anything, Kent. 40% of all people know that. How do you lose a woman? Just to be a good guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Are we on the nice guy subreddit? They hate that crap. No, they don't. How to calm an angry woman? Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Is it that hard? Just saying calm down and communicating like a person. Yeah, not a bad idea. Proof that it only takes three and a quarter inches to please a woman. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, women just love money. And yeah, on that note, I think that's enough of this subreddit for today. Let's read something much more wholesome than this. Me having an average day. My boyfriend making it the best day. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. And it's so nice when you have somebody like that. Oh, you're always here for me. What gives people feelings of power? Money. Status. When you find out that someone you appreciate is in a happy marriage. Oh, yeah, that is nice. I don't have that yet because I'm not quite old enough. But yeah, it won't be too long before I can relate to this. One day you'll look back at this moment and wish you could have told your past self that it'll all be okay. Consider this your message from your future self. You will get through this. Aww. From your nameless friend. Yeah, damn right. You will get through this. That's so wholesome. And I don't know what I expected because that's what this subreddit is. Imagine cooking pancakes and dancing at 2am with the love of your life. A man can dream. That was so fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. It's still so weird looking into the camera. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let me know down below what you thought. And the comment of the day goes to Froki Juju. I'm glad that Vincey is so positive because everything he reads is just horrifying. Yeah, that's why I need to stay as positive as I possibly can. I'm using all all of my power in my being <laughs> to be as optimistic as I possibly can on these subreddits. I know it's probably a little bit weird seeing my face, but definitely let me know if you want to see more of this. But before you guys go, I did promise you that I'd show you Chico, so I'll go grab him. I don't know if you can see him right now, but he's here and he's very cute. And he says hello. But yeah, thank you for all your support, guys. It means the world to me. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye.